What is up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode. I'm Mike and this is Mike's Gourmet Kitchen. Today's recipe is a bit different. We're going to consume some stuff that actually grows on the ground and it is a living creature unfortunately. It's called snails. So we've all eaten them before. It is a delicacy found in France, Belgium, all those different types of countries. And we actually do like to eat them in South Africa, but with a bit of a twist. In France they prepare them with butter, parsley and some garlic and just serve them as is and they are known as escargots. I hope I pronounced that correctly. I'm not French, I'm South African, I speak Afrikaans and English. So today we're going to be doing it a bit differently. We're going to be making it with some cream, garlic butter and also we're going to add the parsley and some mozzarella cheese, bacon in the oven just as you receive it in South African restaurants. If you do enjoy this content, please remember to drop a like, comment and subscribe down below and, and that's it. So stay tuned for the rest of the video. Okay, starting off, we'll get the fire going, I guess. We're going to be using our Tifl wok for this and for the purpose of the video, I'm, I'm using snails that actually came inside a can. Mayfair snails cooked in brine. It's the easiest to find and I didn't want to go chasing off the snails in my garden. I would not recommend to try that. It might actually kill you. So moving on, we're going to be cooking the snails in the pan with our garlic chopped nicely fine, some olive oil, black pepper, salt, and then we will go on to the to mix our sauce. Snails in. Parsley, spoonful of crushed garlic, coarse salt, coarse black pepper. Okay, let's give it a gentle mix through. And now we'll cook the snails for about two to three minutes, just so it gets a bit of definition, get all that flavor locked in there, and then we'll move on to the sauce. Okay, snails are ready to come out of the pan. We're gonna get our oven ready, set our oven up to 180 degrees C. I'm gonna put this in the oven for about five minutes once it's cooked. All right, snails are cooked. We are going to scoop them out, place them on a bowl on the side, Grab all the sauce and what's left in there and start making our sauce. We're going to add a quarter knob of butter to prevent the oil from burning, the olive oil, and about four tablespoons of cream. Okay, wait for the butter to melt, get the cream and everything mixed in there. And from here now, we're just gonna let it simmer down into a thick sauce and then we'll get our snails plated up add them to our bowl, add the sauce on top with our cheese into the oven. Okay, there we go. You can see it's nice and gooey, mixture of butter, cream, garlic and all the sauce from the snails. Now we're gonna go ahead to preparing the snails in the bowl, add the cream sauce and then the mozzarella on top. Got this cute little snail tray here. Let's go ahead and add our snails. This is a pretty big portion, but it's for the purpose of the video. What you can do normally is, you can, you can get these snails in different sizes. I think I bought the wrong size possibly, but anyhow, we will make it work. Just add them three to four snails in a corner there. It's not the prettiest appearance, but this will do. I mean, if you're making this to share with someone, I guess that's fine. You're going to be looking at each other and not the food anyway. So. You can actually prepare this on Valentine's Day, which is already fast, so it's a bit late. But there we go. Got that sorted out. There's our cream, garlic, everything mixture. Add that right on top. And now it looks like a giant blob of snails. Shake it a bit this way. Okay, from here. Got a quarter cup of mozzarella cheese, 
finely grated right on top all the way to the edge perfect and there it is now it's going to go into the oven at 180 degrees for five minutes get that cheese melted or oh, just until, until the cheese is gooey so it could be like two to three minutes and then we'll take it out and grab a bite okay and they're ready to come out of the oven they were in for about three and a half minutes let's grab them and have a look smell absolutely amazing all right so this we're going to serve with some bread and there we go all sorted And now the moment we've all been waiting for, let's go ahead and grab a bite. Got this cute little fork from the Stone Age that we're going to use here. Let's have a look. Oh, my goodness. Look at all that cheese. Oh, the sauce underneath. My goodness, this is so nice. Let's grab another snail, two snails, and some sauce. I'll first try just the snails. And then we'll have some of the bread. Okay, there we go. We've got our mozzarella snail mix. Let's give it a bite. That is really good. I do think one thing I would change though is I'll add more sauce, maybe into a bigger bowl or something. You don't need to use these fancy snail dressing bowls or whatever you want to call them. But this tastes absolutely amazing. Let's try some of the bread. That is really, really good. You could substitute any type of bread you want, maybe brown bread, sea butter, sourdough. All of it will go down pretty amazing. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, please drop a like, comment down below on what you'd like to see in future videos. And don't forget to subscribe for future content. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.